Scott John, CEO Rob Lynch. Good to see you again, Rob. First on the stock to price today. I mean, I, I mean, are you surprised to see the, the stock move given that you've returned to positive sales? I'm extremely surprised at the results we've seen in the market today. Um, you know, we approached this, this earnings announcement uh, very positively. We've now delivered two consecutive quarters of same store comp sales. We significantly beat uh, earnings and sales forecasts. And, you know, we've guided uh, very aggressively and very positively looking out 2020. So we feel like our business is in great shape. and. We're in full turnaround mode, and we're making a lot of progress against our core initiatives. Let's hit the coronavirus, clearly top of mind for investors. I think you have about, what, 200 stores in China. Tell us what, what you're seeing there and in terms of business and whether you can get, get the stores open again and what's happening with sales. Yeah, these, these 50 restaurants are temporarily closed. Um, a lot of times they close as a result of you know, the government's shut down of specific areas and, and facilities. A lot of our restaurants in that country are in shopping malls, and they've, they've taken precautionary measures to close those shopping malls. But, you know, our international business is incredibly important to us. We have a lot of white space for development there. China is a big part of that plan, and China was performing very well until this situation. Um, but right now we're monit monitoring it closely. We've got uh, leaders and franchisees in the country, reporting out to us daily on the on the situation there, um, and and our you know our primary concern right now is making sure that we are uh, helping the franchisees, their team members, in the communities that they serve. What what about back home, Rob? When you see an outbreak uh, like this, even though of course uh, thankfully so far it's not spread widely in, in the U.S., do you see people uh, having a higher uh, intense, uh, propensity to, to order food online rather than, rather than go out to restaurants? You know, we really haven't seen a fundamental um, change in our business. Uh, obviously, we've, we, we are very happy with our business results and we haven't seen any negative impact. Um, so there really hasn't been any change in behavior. What do you anticipate as it relates to the U.S. in terms of ordering online and, and shifts in consumer behavior? What do we typically see when something like this happens? You know, um, right now we're, we're not seeing any change historically. You know, I don't know that we've dealt with these situations a lot in the past. Obviously, you have SARS and Ebola from, from years ago. But um, the reality is, is that those never really impacted the United States. So we haven't seen a big impact from these types of situations. Hey, Rob, it's Josh Brown. Would you ever consider um, completely outsourcing all of your delivery to either DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, one of the delivery companies? What is the economic difference to you versus somebody ordering from one of those services versus calling or, or using the app direct Papa John's? You know, we've made a strategic decision to establish strong partnerships with all of the, the major aggregators. We have national relationships and contracts that support both of our businesses. And as a result of, of, of those partnerships, we're seeing about the same level of profitability from our aggregator um, deliveries as we do from our organic deliveries. So we think there's a good balance. We like having um, an internal delivery capability to support our restaurants, but we're, we're absolutely leveraging those partnerships to make us more efficient, especially in our, in our highest capacity day parts and our highest capacity uh, market, marketplaces. Th th that said, uh, Rob, to what extent is it a big risk, the more you integrate with the, the Postmates of this world, that if people start to open that app, even if it was with the original intention to order your pizza, that they get distracted by, by the other op options that are available on those platforms? You know, we want to meet our customers in, in, in every, um, you know, location and every opportunity that we have to, to reach them. And if that becomes a marketplace, then we want to be there. And so far, we've seen a, a, a lot of growth there. And actually, we've seen a lot of incremental customers. So we're reaching customers that we weren't reaching through our own organic channels. So it's been very incremental. And we've seen the customer service, uh, you know, really replicate what we do internally. So we've been happy with the partnership.
So, Rob, you're what, more than a, a year out from some of the drastic changes that this company has made. How much at all, if at all, do you think that the problems of the founder, John Schnatter, are still plaguing your business and your brand? The racial slurs, the, the blaming it on the NFL viewership, and that whole debacle which led to falling sales for all of last year. You know, our, our system is, is, is recovering, and we're recovering because we're focused on uh, growth. We're focused on innovation. We've launched two new products in the last six months. I've been with the company now six months, and we've, we've shifted to an innovation mindset. And the two products that we've launched, Garlic Parmesan Crust and our new Papadillas, are performing, have performed and are performing extremely well. So we've been really happy with that change. We're also doing a lot to evolve our culture and make sure that we're the kind of company that our employees and our customers can, be, can feel proud to be a part of. We've but got do you think it's, uh, great diversity. I'm sorry. Do you think it's still hurting, the brand perception, though? You know, I, 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 we've definitely seen a turnaround. We think our partnership with Shaquille has helped us. Um, and then a lot of our efforts in our communities in which we operate around diversity and inclusion have really helped as well. So we're de we're definitely see we definitely believe that we're turning a corner. Rob Lynch, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.